Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're jumping back into Black Clover Mobile, and we've got some fun stuff to talk about. We've got a double banner up. We've got Licked and Raya, I think his name is, if I'm pronouncing it right. We have Fauna and we have Veto. Should we summon? Should we not? I think there's a case to be made to summon them, and I think there's a case to be made to hold off a little bit. We're going to go ahead and discuss both of those, and we're going to talk a little bit about a tier list that I've been using that's been helping me quite a bit. But first, before we do, if you're just now finding this channel and you want to stay up to date with this and other games, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, let's go to the summons. So we have a double banner here. We've got Raya and Licht, and then we have Veto and Fauna. Let's talk about why you would want to summon them on this banner, and then we'll talk about why maybe you want to hold off. First, we're going to jump into Arena. So once you get, I've completed the storyline. Once you complete the storyline, really kind of what it is, is pushing yourself further and further into the different dungeons so you can get better gear, better resources. And then it's Arena. Arena is pretty much everything. I'm, I've hit Master 5, but I'm starting to hit a little bit of a wall, and the reason for that is because of the teams. Look at these teams. Blue and green. You're running into so many blue and green teams, and when you take a look at the rock, paper, scissors mechanic, red beats green, sure, boom, but blue beats red. And there's a lot of red out there. You've got red Asta uh, with this Asta here. You've got Yami. Uh, you've got Black Clover Academy yami who's blue so that works out but you're running into a lot of these teams a lot of these blue and green teams i'm seeing a lot of lotus a lot of mars luckily i have him and a lot of mimosa and asta here let me go over here i'm also seeing a lot of william william popping up radies every now and then and then uh, i don't see jack very often but you are running into a lot of blue and green teams so the red will take care of the green for the most part, but when they're surrounded by blue teammates, um, then blue tends to just take <laughs> take out the red. And this game operates on that rock, paper, scissors mechanic more critically than I've seen in other games, actually. So you definitely want to take a look at that. So why are we talking about that? That is because when we take a look at Licked and Raya, they are green, right? So uh, they are green attackers. When we take a look at Fauna and Veto, then you've got a, a blue attacker and a red defender. Let's talk about where they place on a tier list, and then we'll t uh, and then we'll take a look at their their kits in there as well. So just on the tier list here, this is uh, Pride Win. They do tier lists for a lot of games. They've got they've got this on Global as well as as the other versions of the game that came out earlier. But I've been using this list, and it's it's been super helpful for me. So let's just take a look at where they have them placed. They have Licked placed here as S class for PvE, along with Raya. You've got Fauna up here in S as well, and then you've got Veto down here in A. Let's just take a look at his kit really quick. I wasn't super impressed with his kit. It's just, it's a lot of uh, attack and magic attack skill ups. You've got Disarm here for two turns, which reduces damage, which isn't bad. Uh, you've got some Life Steal here as well, so increased damage dealt. More Life Steal and Disarm down here. You've got a 60% chance at a Taunt. Uh, and with him being a defender, it makes sense. Uh, he grants 15% Fortify for one turn upon using Lifesteal. Uh, so he's a pretty steady tank in there. But uh, he's a red tank, and he's going to get demolished by all the blue teams out there. So I would say he's more towards the bottom of the list for me. Mars is definitely the way to go when you, uh, when you look at PvP in Arena. When we take a look at the other characters here, you got Fauna. I think Fauna is cool. She's got this burn. Uh, she's got lifesteal as well. Increased all attack level two for two turns. Uh, if an enemy has a debuff, which hopefully you're doing some debuffs on your team, they're going to have some damage increased on them as well. She does pair as a perfect partner with Veto. And then uh, she's got some increased damage down here when HP is equal to 100% or higher. So um, she's a pretty cool character. I think if you're a collector, you're going to want everybody. But the two really that I think should be taken a look at are these two right here, Licked and Raya. Now this guy, not overly impressed with his kit. Um, I, he's just an all-out damage dealer. I mean, nothing really too special about it, I don't think. You've got increased crit all over the place. You've got some, um, some penetration here, some crit rates. 
increased damage dealt yet. If he's taking some continuous damage, so that's where it would pair up with Fauna a little bit because she she deals out some continuous damage. All right, and then Immortality down here, so 30% chance. When, well, when he's when he's below 30% for his HP, then it grants Immortality for one turn per battle. Uh, so that might come in handy as kind of a last-ditch turn of the battle. But the one that I'm super impressed with is Raya right here. So he is a green attacker as well. He's got, if he's buffed, he's going to get an extra attack. He, uh, he's going to copy, copies two of the enemy's buffs. That's super helpful there as well. I love his copy magic. Uh, more buffs and extra attacks here. You got increased damage dealt if uh, for each active buff, 15%. That's insane. Yeah, if he's buffed here, you got right here after uh, another 15% increased damage dealt. Uh, he's got this AoE attack here. So attacks after copying one buff of the partnered mage and then attacks after granting a partnered mage and self increase at all attack level two i he i think he really buffs up um the team i think it's pretty cool if you have a buff heavy team he's going to come in handy i love the extra attacks similar to asta clover academy asta and then his perfect pairing is with licked so those two together it uh it makes sense so he's got a great kit now why would we not want to summon for these? And we're going to do some, uh, we're going to do some summons at the end of the video. Uh, we're going to see if we can pick up any of these guys because I think that they're definitely worth it. But why would we not want to summon for them? So if we take a look at some of these other PVE and PVP lists here, we've got Noelle's swimsuit coming with Season 2, right? So with her, you're going to be able to get her through the Reunion Gateway so you can quest for her. You've also got Yuno and Ghosh down here. Uh, I'll leave a link to this uh, tier list in the description below. Just know you're going to see a bunch of bunch of ads, but it is pretty useful. Um, so you got Ghost down here as well for Season 2. But look at this. We've got Julius. We think Julius is going to be coming here in the next few weeks. He is a technique attacker, so blue, um, which is going to really help against those, those red teams. Not a lot of red teams out there right now, though. Uh, it's all blue and green, as you can see, especially you, once you get higher in the PvP arena. So like I said, you saw a Master 5, and uh, there's a lot of blue and green. So, uh, well, a lot of blue, little less green, but those are the teams that you're going to see. So you want a little red and a lot of blue, and uh, I mean green. And I think that's where, where Licked and Raya come into play. But you may want to wait. You may want to wait and go for Julius and Swimsuit Noel. Cool thing is you don't have to summon for Swimsuit Noel. You can just quest her. All right, so... There's my thoughts. That is, that's where we are with Black Clover Mobile, the two banners that we have going up. I definitely think it's worth going for Licked and Raya. Where's my cursor? There it is. And holding off on Veto and Fauna, unless you just want the characters. Uh, if you're a huge fan or a fan of the character, you probably want them in your roster. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do some summons here. We did a couple already. I'm out of summon tickets, but I do have some black. So we'll do some, uh, some black crystals. So I'm, we're gonna do some. We're going to do 20 summons here and see if we get lucky. Let's see if we get the, the quirky eye. Do we get a quirky eye? Yes, we get a quirky eye. So let's see who we get. We got one. Do we get an upgrade? Nobody upgraded. Who do we get? Yeah, we got Raya. Raya, right? I love his, his whole demeanor. So very cool. We got him. We'll do another. We'll do another ten. But that was definitely worth it. All right. I've been getting pretty lucky with all these pulls. Let's do one more ten, and that's gonna be last because I do want Julius. E. Uh, let's do the ten. Let's see if we get the quirky eye. Give me a quirky eye. Quirky eye. Yes. All right. Who do we get? Do we get an upgrade too? No upgrades. We were born from the distortion to We got them both. I'm Look at that. Now we can play around with both of them and uh, see how well they do in arena. So I'll definitely get them geared up, leveled up, take them into arena and see how well they work. Because on paper, they seem to work pretty well. They match up together. Perfect partner mages. Uh, the attacking, the extra attacks. I think it's going to be pretty cool. All right, everybody, that's what I had for you. Those are my thoughts on the banners. 
maybe why you'd want to summon and maybe why you wouldn't. But very curious on your thoughts. Are you going for any one of these banners? Are you looking forward to Swimsuit Noel and Julius? I'd really be interested in hearing which characters you really want to go for. All right, everybody, that's what I had for you. As always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everybody. We'll talk to you next time. Thank you.